from the mom life if you want to transform your fridge from this to this then stay tuned it's less than a month before the new year and one of my new year's resolution is to be organized and i actually just started yesterday by making a diy planner and now that i wrote down all my organization goals i wanted to start organizing our kitchen and i will start with our fridge <laughs> I bought some containers from the dollar store, the Lacey Susan from Roth, and labels from Amazon, and it cost me less than $20 for everything. Organizing doesn't need to cost an arm and a leg. So this is what our fridge looks like as we speak. The first thing I will do is take out everything and clean the shelves and drawers. I will use a regular dishwashing soap and warm water to clean because I don't like using chemicals on things that come in contact with our food. All right, let's get started. Now that our fridge is clean, it's time to organize. Quick tip, if your fridge smells funky, try putting an open box of baking soda and leave it there for 24 hours. I'll start organizing each section one by one and I'll start with the top shelf. I will not put a lot in here because this is where I will be storing leftovers. On to the middle shelf. This is where I'll put the eggs and milk because it's the coldest part of the fridge. I'll 
also put some of the condiments here and I'll be using a lacy Susan to keep it organized. In the heat from a hot California I forgot how you look like it the bottom shelf is where I'll put this plastic bin to store meat that I need to defrost to prevent contamination. I have two drawers in my fridge, so the left one would be for veggies and right for fruits. I'll set this left crisper to vegetables to keep this drawer to high humidity, and this one to fruits for low humidity. If your drawer is set to high humidity, the little window on the drawer is closed, which means water vapor is held in the drawer and the moisture keeps the veggies fresh. Keeping fruits and vegetables that are sensitive to ethylene gas like strawberries in this drawer will also keep them away from ethylene producers. Ethylene gas can cause produce to ripen faster, so do not mix fruits and veggies that emits ethylene to those that are sensitive to ethylene. Put fruits and veggies that emit ethylene gas in low humidity because leaving the window open on the drawer gives those gases a chance to escape. When the gases are released, it helps keep the fruits and vegetables from rotting prematurely. I printed this ethylene produce guide from UCSD Health and I will link it below for you guys. Now the door shelves. This is the warmest part of your fridge, so only snacks, juice, and condiments should go here. I have a toddler, so I will put my son's drinks and snacks on the lowest shelf of the door for easy access. Now that we're done organizing, the last step would be labeling to keep it extremely organized. I also printed this gold storage chart from foodsafety.gov as a guide and I'll be leaving this on the side of our fridge. I'll put a link below in case you want to print one for yourself too. Just watch me break in This video helped you get an idea on how to organize your fridge on a budget. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Okay, bye! Hey there, Dee here from The Mom Life. If you want to transform your fridge from this to this, then stay tuned.